Hi everyone, I'm Marina from Fitness Blender and today we will be working through a Yang Yin Yoga Flow. If you are part of our free five day workout challenge, welcome to day six and a way to complete the bonus practice. For the first half of today's workout, we will slowly warm and engage our muscles, focusing primarily on low impact strength building and active mobility. For the second half of our practice, we will mount into our mats with Yin inspired posture holds, focusing primarily on flexibility. You won't need any equipment for this practice. However, you can use a yoga mat if you'd like. As always, please make this practice your own and I will be offering modifications throughout. So take what feels best in your body. If you wanna see more like today's class, there is a brand new four week version of this challenge with all exclusive um, workout videos and content. So go ahead and check that out on FB Plus, which you don't need to have a membership for if you um, purchase a plus pass. So make sure to check that out today. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and meet on the mat to get started. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and begin in a reverse plank. So turning to face the front of our mat, you can place your hands with the fingers to the sides or to the backs, depending on what feels best in your shoulders. We're gonna untuck the feet, bring all four corners of both feet to the ground. And from here, we're gonna inhale, engage the glutes, engage the quads, hug the belly in as we lift the hips towards the ceiling. Maybe you drop the head back. Exhale, lower with control. Lifting the heels up, maybe the palms come up, we're in our boat pose. Inhale here, lengthen through the back of the spine. Try not to put that C curve in the lumbar spine or the low spine. Really lifting the chest here. Inhale long, get nice and long. Exhale, we're gonna lower to low boat. Find your hover. Inhale, bring it right back up. High boat, tall spine. Exhale, plant the feet, plant the palms. Lift those hips again. Reverse your plank. Inhale to lower and lift. High boat. Exhale, lower to low boat. Inhale, brings you right back up, high boat. Exhale, plant the palms, plant the feet. Inhale, brings you up, hips up towards the ceiling, open the chest. One more. We're gonna lower, lift into high boat. Feel the core engage as you really lengthen through the spine. Exhale and lower to low boat. Find your hover, feel navel hug in towards spine. Inhale, brings you right back up, high boat. Exhale, plant the palms, plant the feet, lift the hips. Core is still engaged, finding your reverse plank. Nice work. Lower all the way back down to a seat. You've got two options. Take the feet behind you and meet us in a tabletop. Or hug the knees in towards the chest. Give your spine a nice little massage as you roll over the toes, finding your tabletop position. Nice work. From here, we're gonna tuck the toes and the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a moment, pedal out to the back of the legs, release the neck, release the head. If ujjayi breathing is in your practice, go ahead and take that now, sealing the lips, inhaling and exhaling exclusively through the nose, constricting lightly at the back of the throat. If ujjayi breath is not in your practice, that's okay. Make sure that you're breathing with us. So as you're ready, we're gonna inhale, heels lift, coming onto the tips of the toes. Exhale, we're gonna drop and tap the knees. Inhale, straighten out through the legs, find your high plank. Exhale, drop the knees again and send those hips up high and back, find your downward facing dog. Two more, inhale, heels lift, exhale, Hover the knees. Inhale, expand high plank. Exhale, hover the knees. And then send those hips up high and back. One more, really working through the spine. Heels will lift. Drop the knees, pressing through the heels of the palms around the upper back. Extend through the legs. And then drop the knees, send the hips up high and back. Nice work, everyone. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and take those feet out wide, maybe hips width distance or all the way to the edges of the mat. 
spread those toes out super wide, take a nice soft bend in the knees, and then start to pull, walk the hands back towards the feet. Generous bend in the knees as you fold forward. Release the neck, release the head. Take an inhale to halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale and fold deep, opposite hand to opposite elbow. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale and fold deep. From here, inhale, we're gonna rise tall. Stacking vertebrae upon vertebrae, reach, reach, reach. Find your extended mountain. Exhale, palms come through heart center. Inhale, reach tall, extended mountain. Exhale and fold deep. Generous bend of the knees again. Inhale to halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale and fold deep. Inhale, we rise tall. Extended mountain. Exhale, palms through heart center. Sama CTH. Inhale, we reach up tall again. Exhale, this time cactus the arms, open the heart, press those hips forward, find a baby back bend. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale and fold deep. We're going to take a half sine one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Work to keep those legs as straight as you can. You can keep a soft bend in the knees if you need to. And then exhale, generous bend in the knees as you fold forward. Maybe here, instead of grabbing opposite hand to opposite elbow, you interlace the fingers at the low back, press those palms together, protect the shoulders, and then allow yourself to droop even more forward. Nice shoulder rinse here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, melt the tension away. Inhale to release your bind. Find your halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise tall. Find your extended mountain. Exhale, palms through heart center. Sam Sitihi. We've got one more baby back bend coming up. So inhale, swoop the arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, hips come forward, arms come back as you open the chest, look back, reach back. Inhale, bring, brings you back to center. Exhale, we fold deep. Nice work, everyone. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, walk yourself all the way back out to a high plank. Go ahead and drop the knees towards the mat. And then bring those palms underneath the shoulders to stack. Nice job. Take a moment, wiggle it out. Everyone's doing fantastic. All right, let's keep it moving. So inhale, right arm will extend out long in front. Reach for like you're reaching for your best friend. Left leg will extend back. Leg is, or excuse me, foot is super flexed, yeah? Like you could kick a hole in the back wall. On the inhale, we're gonna expand, get long, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, round in, knee to nose. Core is engaged, core is tight. Inhale, we expand. Exhale, we round in. One more. Inhale, expand. Exhale, round in. Normal to have all the snap, crackle, pops, but keep those hips square with the mat. Inhale and expand. Reach and hold here. Feel navel hug into spine for three, two. Can you still breathe? You can for one. Go ahead and plant the right palm on the mat. Kickstand that right leg out. It will come off the mat. Left leg stays lifted as you reach and expand overhead with the left arm. Beautiful. Hold here. Feel the stretch in the left side body. Inhale to keep that left leg lifted. Really engage the glutes. Engage the hip. You've got it. And then as you're ready, we're going to plant the left palm, bringing the right foot back onto the mat. We're going to press to the ball of the right foot. Extend out long. You're in your one-legged plank. From here, we're gonna hug the left knee in towards the nose, towards the chest, really rounding through the upper spine as you press the heels of the palms into the mat. You've got it, hold here in your cheetah for three. For two, can you breathe and hug that knee in one more inch for one. Nice work from here. We're gonna step that left foot behind the right leg. I know, weird transition. Drop the hips towards the mat. Inhale, we reach up, pushing those hips again towards the ceiling like we did in our reverse plank. This time we only have one palm on the ground. Find your wild thing, open the heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower the hips towards the mat. Another weird transition, get ready. We're gonna spin back over, left foot never touches the ground until we place the left foot 
to meet up with the right palm, yeah? Left foot can meet the mat again, finding your runner's lunge. We're pressing through the back ball of this right foot. Heel is stacked over the toes. Play with this a little bit. Feel the navel hug in again towards spine. Everything is engaged. You've got this. And then as you're ready, we're going to go ahead and extend along through this front leg, finding your modified pyramid. Don't worry so much about bringing the nose to the knee or folding forward. Just feel the navel hug in. Engage these quads to lift the left kneecap. You can keep the palms on the floor if that feels good to you. And then maybe you start to lift all five left toes off of the mat. You'll feel more of the stretch in the hamstrings and the quads now. If you need to bring your back foot in just a little bit, by all means, please do. Holding here for three, two, one. As you're ready, we're gonna drop the left toes back to the mat, stepping the right foot up, quads are engaged, heels in, toes out, find your active squat. Gaze lifts, torso lifts, chest lifts. Can you sink a little bit deeper, engaging those quads, pressing through all four corners of the feet. Weight should be back in the heels, not up in the toes. You've got it, hold here for three. Two, use your breath, stay in. One. Inhale, reach up, but keep the squat. Exhale, plant the palms. Now from here, we're just gonna play with shifting the weight. Forward, forward, forward. Getting out of the heels, maybe into the toes, now into the palms. Press your weight into the palms. More weight should be in the hands and the shoulders and the feet. You've got it, holding here. Core is in tight for three, two, one. Go ahead and step the right foot back now. Step the left foot back now. And lower halfway. Beautiful. From here, we're going to lower all the way down. Tops of the feet are glued into the mat. Palms press up by the upper ribs, but very little weight is in the palms, yeah? So from here, we're going to inhale, engage the glutes, engage the low back as we lift the chest. Exhale and lower. Oscillating cobra, keep it going. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale and lower. One last time. Inhale, lift. Holding here, maybe you can hover the palms off of the mat. Maybe you begin to hover the feet. If you would like, reach back, find a bind between the hands, interlacing the fingers with the low back, palms pressed together, holding our locust pose for three, two. Can you get a little bit higher? You can. One. Exhale and release. <sighs> Inhale. Palms come by the upper ribs, we tuck the toes, press it back up, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, send those hips up and back, downward facing dog, nice work. All right, from here we're gonna again lower to the knees, finding our tabletop position. Arms will come underneath the shoulders to stack. Let's go ahead and take this on the other side. So, left palm extends out long, right foot extends out back reaching for your best friend, kicking a hole in the back wall, yeah? Two different things. <laughs> From here, square the hips with the mat. Feel the low belly engage as you inhale, expand, lift the chest. Exhale and round in, knee to nose. Inhale and expand. Exhale and round in. One more each way, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach, expand out long. Left palm meets the mat, left foot kickstands out. Keep the right leg lifted as you arch open with the right palm. Feel the lengthening in the right side body. Hold here for three, two, one. Beautiful work. Right palm meets the mat again. Left big toes also meet the mat. From here, we're gonna extend out long, pressing through the ball of the left foot, finding your one-legged plank. Inhale to round in, right knee to nose. You've got it for three. Two, really pressing into the heels of the palms, round through the upper back for one. From here, weird transition again, right foot comes behind the left leg. We drop the hips towards the mat. Inhale, we lift, rise and open. Wild thing. Take a full inhale here. Full exhale brings you back down to the mat or down to a hover. Right leg is gonna spin back over, finding the top of the mat by the left hand. We're in our runner's lunge. So again, 
left ball of the foot is really engaged. We're driving that heel forward like we're pressing on a gas pedal. From here, we're going to inhale and expand through that right front leg. If you need to bring the left back foot in closer, you can. Finding our modified pyramid. Release the neck, release the head as it feels good to you. Three breaths here. Make sure that right quad is engaged. Right kneecap is lifted. You can for last full breath in. Last full breath out. And then as you're ready, right knee will bend. Left foot steps up to meet the right. Heels in, toes out. Finding your active squat. Holding here for three. For two, core is still engaged. You've got it for one. Inhale to reach up tall. Keep the squat. Unlock those jaws. <laughs> Exhale, plant the palms, holding here, pausing, beginning to shift more of the weight into the palms than from the toes. You've got it for three. Hug that low belly in, keep shifting forward, forward, forward for two. For one, like you could fall, but then you step the right leg back, step the left leg, left leg back, and lower all the way down to the bellies. From here, we're going to inhale. Find your low cobra or your baby cobra. Exhale and lower. Two more. Inhale to lift. Exhale and lower. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lift. Holding here. Maybe you start to float the feet off the ground. The knees come off. Float the palms. Interlace the fingers at the low back if it feels good to you. Pressing those palms together. Open up through the chest. Rinse through the shoulders. You've got it. For three. Two, one, nice work, release your bind, lower all the way down, palms come by the upper ribs, tuck the toes, inhale, high plank, press it back up, exhale, shift those hips up and back, downward facing dog, take a moment, stand subtle, water's clear, inhale through the nose, exhale, roar it out, let some heat go, take two more breaths at your pace, in and out through the nose. And then we'll go ahead and get to the main part of our flow. So go ahead and take those feet out wide again, either hips width distance or to the edges of your mat. Take a slight bend in the knees and then start to walk those palms all the way back to the feet. Pause here in your rag doll, generous bend in the knees, release the neck, release the head. As you're ready, we'll inhale to roll all the way up. Stacking vertebrae on vertebrae. Roll those shoulders up and back. Nice work. Bringing the big toes together again. We'll go ahead and inhale. Reach the right leg up tall as the left leg grounds, finding your one-legged mountain. From here, we're gonna open up through the right knee, opening up through the right hip. Bring that knee right knee over to the right side of the mat, you've got it. And then keep opening up, opening, 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 expanding. As you come forward, we'll find our half moon. Beautiful, holding here for three, two, one. Take a bend in that left knee as you start to lower the back foot, coming into warrior two. Adjust your stance as you see fit. Finding that deep lunge in the front leg, pressing through all four corners of the, toe, uh, of the front foot. Really grounding through the knife edge of this back foot. Expanding long through the arms, long through the chest. You've got it. Knees are tracking, excuse me, that left knee is tracking over the second toe. Set your gaze. You've got it. Take an inhale. Reverse your warrior. Exhale. Come back to center. Now from here, you've got two options. We're going to either take an archer's pose or skindasana to the back of the mat. So extending long through that front leg, Turning the back toes out, we'll take a slight bend in the left knee. Shifting that lunge just a little bit. Stay here if this feels good to you, or sink a little bit lower, finding your active skandhasana. Beautiful. From here, we'll float to the front of our mat. Find your archer's pose. We're now facing the back wall. Deep lunge in the right knee, or come a little bit lower, find your active skandhasana here. Nice work. We'll take one more each side. Inhale brings you up, bending through the left knee. 
find your archer's pose. We're facing the, uh, the front of our mat now. Or sink a little deeper, Skandasana. Inhale, bring you back up, coming to the front of our mat. We'll find that bend in the left knee now, archer's pose. Or sink a little bit deeper, finding your Skandasana. Nice work. From here, we're gonna inhale to come back to center, straightening through both legs. Toes will come in, heels are in line with the toes. Knees are engaged, or excuse me, the quads are engaged to lift the knees. Inhale, reach up tall, find your star pose. Exhale and fold deep. Wide-legged forward fold or prasarita. Nice work, everyone. Take a full breath in here. Full breath out. And then as you're ready, we're gonna crawl our way to the front of the mat. Left toes will come out. Palms are on the inside of that left foot. Go ahead and drop that back knee towards the mat, keeping the toes tucked. And then if you would like, you can start to really open up through this left knee, coming onto the knife edge of that left foot. From here, we're gonna play a little bit in our runners, or excuse me, our lizard lunge. So if you feel like you would like more of a twist and a quad stretch as we also open up this left hip, go ahead and keep the right palm planted. Go ahead and start to look back over the left shoulder. Left palm can reach back if that feels good. Stay here if this feels like enough. If you're looking for more, start to lift that right heel up towards the glutes. Maybe you back the glutes up to the right heel and find a bind. Left palm to right foot. Stay here if this is enough. Looking for more, keep that bind. Start to drop those hips again towards the mat. Coming into your twisted lizard lunge. We're gonna breathe here in this stretch for three. Two, one, gently release any binds you might have. Come back to all four corners of the front foot, extending through the back leg. We'll lift that knee off the mat. Go ahead and send that left leg back, finding your high plank. Inhale to shift the weight forward, shoulders over fingertips. Exhale, lower halfway. Come all the way down onto the belly. Inhale, press it right back up. Find a high plank. Exhale and lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, press it back up. High plank. They're not really push-ups if your belly touches the ground. <laughs> That's the mindset trick I like to use at least. And then lower halfway or all the way. You choose last time. Release any bind, or excuse me, release your palms and then press them back into the mat as you tuck the toes. Inhale for the last time. Bring it back up, high plank. Exhale and lower all the way, bringing the chest through the shoulders. We'll inhale, open up the heart, dropping the hips towards the mat, finding your upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes, shifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog, nice work. We've got one more side before our water break. So take a deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out through the mouth, and we can do this, let's go. Feet will come out wide, hips width distance or to the edges of the mat. Walk those palms back. Generous bend in the knees as you see fit. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale and fold deep. Inhale, we rise tall. Find your extended mountain. Exhale, palms through heart center. Samasitihi. From here, I'm just going to sh uh, shimmy my way up a little bit. But then from here, we're going to keep the right foot grounded. Inhale. Left knee lifts towards the chest, finding your one-legged mountain. From here, we're gonna to start to open up through that left knee, that left hip. Keep opening, keep opening. Extend that left leg back as you find your half moon. Holding here for three, two, one. Take a bend in that standing leg, and if you fall into warrior two, that's okay. Or well, if you fall out, it's all good. Come right back in. We'll go ahead and set our gaze at the front of the mat, or at the, um, the front of our fingertips. Find your balance, find your foundation. Coming into that front lunge as best you can. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in, reverse your warrior. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, to straighten through the front leg, finding a dip in the back, 
Archer's Pose, or Active Skindasana. Inhale to come to the front of the mat now. Again, Archer's Pose, we're facing the back of the mat, lunges in the right leg, or Active Skindasana. One more each way. Inhale, bring it back for Archer's or Skindasana. Inhale toward the front of the mat, finding your archers or active skandasana. Inhale to straighten through the front leg. Turn the toes towards the side of right, or excuse me, left side of your mat. Finding this wide-legged stance. Heels are right behind the toes. Inhale, reach up, find your star pose. Exhale and fold. Wide-legged forward fold or prasarita. You've got it. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Nice work, crawling the palms towards the front of the mat. We'll go ahead and bring those palms to the inside of that right foot. Left knee will drop to the back of the mat. If you would like, you can start to wing out through that right knee, coming onto the knife edge of the foot. And then hold here if this is enough in your lizard lunge. Looking for more, start to twist over that right shoulder, looking back. Maybe the right arm comes back as well. Hold here if this is enough. Looking for more, untuck those back toes. Start to back the glutes up to meet the, uh, the right heel, excuse me, the left heel. Right palm can come to the left foot if that's accessible. Hold here again if that feels good. If you're looking for more, start to drop the hips towards the mat. Finding your lizard lunge with a twist. We're opening up to the right hip here. We're stretching through the left quad. This can be pretty intense, so just be gentle with yourself. No need to force yourself in any shape. Letting the stretch feel good for three. For two, breathing into any areas of tension, letting each exhale release and melt that tension away. For one, gently untwist with control. Tuck the left toes, extend through the left leg. Left knee is lifted off the mat now, so I can send my right foot back to meet it, finding my high plank. From here, we're gonna inhale, shoulders over fingertips, shift forward. Exhale, elbows hug my ribs as I lower all the way to the mat. Inhale to lift my palms, lift my feet. Exhale to plant the palms, plant the feet. And an inhale will bring me back up, high plank. Inhale again, shift the weight forward. And exhale to lower all the way down to the belly. Lift the palms, lift the feet, and then plant the palms, plant the feet. Stay strong in the core as you shift it up. Again, high plank. We've got one more. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, pick up the feet, pick up the hands, and then plant them again. Push it back up, high plank. You can do this. Inhale, shift the shoulders over the fingertips last time. Exhale, and lower all the way down. Holding here in your low plank for three, two, one. Bring the chest through the shoulders. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes, hips come up and back, downward facing dog. Nice work, everyone. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let something go. Coming back down onto my knees. We'll go ahead and take our water break before moving into the yin inspired section of this practice. I hope you enjoyed your water break. Let's go ahead and recenter. So, Coming in to our downward facing dog again, press those hips up high and back. From here, we're gonna inhale, right leg is going to lift, three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, round in, drop the back knee to the mat, and then go ahead and bring that bent right knee to the front. You can untuck the toes and slide into your half pigeon. And then just holding here, if this feels good for you, take any adjustments that feel um, necessary. If this is inaccessible or feels like too much, 
you can always come to your back, bringing the right ankle over top the left quads, and take your reclined half pigeon from your back. I like to interlace my fingers behind the left leg and keeping that right foot flex, I'll continue to draw that left knee in towards the chest gently, keeping my neck long and my tailbone on the mat. I'm also pressing my right elbow into the side of my right knee to keep that hip open. You'll feel this stretch along the right side of the glutes. So this is your second option. If the first option doesn't feel accessible, that is half pigeon on your back. And if you're with me, we can stay up here in our, um, in our half pigeon. And then keeping this left leg engaged, we'll bring it around, keeping the right knee just as it is. We'll go ahead and bring the left foot to the outside of the right quad. So if you're in reclining pigeon, go ahead and come sit up for this. This is, um, this is a great stretch called Half Lord of the Fishes, and it's great because you can modify it how you see fit. So if it feels like too much, bring the left foot to the front of the right knee. We want to keep both hip points glued to the mat. So I'm going to go ahead, since I've got a little bit more space, to um, bring this left foot on the outside of my right knee. I'm going to find a tall spine. And then as you feel ready, you'll, well, you'll feel the stretches here in the right hip, the left glutes. As you feel ready, we'll inhale, bring the arms up tall. Exhale, right elbow will cross to the left knee, and we'll start to turn over this left shoulder. You can place the left palm into the mat and try to ground into the mat to find a deeper twist, but make this your own. Let this feel good in your body. No need to force any particular shape. And as you're ready, release your twist, unravel the legs, and I'm just gonna bring my knees to the side and then around, and I'm gonna find my downward facing dog again. Oh, all the snap crackle pops. All right, taking my half pigeon now on the other side, my left leg is going to lift. Feel free to come to your backs if you would like to take this reclined. And then I'm gonna draw my knee in towards my chest on the exhale, lowering that back knee, and then extending through that back leg as I kind of slither into my half pigeon. I'm really working to keep my hips square, so really working to um, bring this right hip flexor down more towards the mat while keeping both hip points glued. If this is too easy, you can also start to bring this right leg out, or excuse me, this left leg out um, more to a 90 degree angle. That is really a lot on me in a way that doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna keep my heel pretty close to my groin. Um, but again, if any of this feels inaccessible, reclined pigeon on the back um, can also is also a great option. We'll go ahead and keep the left leg tucked as is, bringing that right leg around. around. Both hip points meet the mat again. Right foot to the front of the right knee or excuse me, the left knee, or to the side of the left knee, whatever you've got space for. I'm gonna bring this left heel out just a little bit more so I can really work to ground my right hip point. And then finding a tall spine here, tuning into the melting tension in my hips and my glutes. I'm gonna inhale to reach tall. Exhale, left elbow to the right knee, right palm to the mat as I start to really ground and twist. Nice. Go ahead, gently unravel from core. Unravel the legs. Send them out long in front of you, and then just give the knees a good shake. From here, we're gonna come into our snail pose. We've got two options again. We'll inhale to reach the arms up tall. Exhale, you can go ahead and take a forward fold. Or if you're like me and you got really tight hamstrings, we're gonna go ahead and bend the knees. Keeping the feet flexed, toes pointed back towards the nose. I'm going to again inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, opposite hand to opposite elbow underneath the knees, and then fold forward. You can start to walk the heels out as gravity melts you towards the floor. But I want to keep my feet flexed to keep my quads and my calves engaged. The more I walk my heels out, the more I feel the stretch, not just in the back of my hamstrings, but also in my upper spine and my, uh, and my neck. Nice work, release the bind if you have one. Pressing the palms into the mat. I'm gonna roll vertebrae by, by vertebrae, 
head and neck are the last to arrive lifted. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and swing my legs behind me, coming onto my knees. And I'm gonna start to melt forward into my puppy pose. So walking my palms out, really opening up to the heart here. You can bring the forehead to the mat if that feels good to you. If you've got more space, you can start to bring the chest and the chin to the floor as well. And I'm just gonna undo my microphone so you don't get a bunch of static. And we're gonna breathe here. This is a really intense opening along the heart, the shoulders. So just be patient with yourself and breathe into the tension. Breathe through the discomfort you can for three. For two. For one. From here, I'm just gonna press up to a tabletop and then swing my legs around, coming back onto my back. We'll go ahead and set up for our final postures here in this reclined position. Stretching through the lateral sides of the body now. I'm gonna bring my right leg, or excuse me, my right heel to the corner of my right mat. Left heel will stack on top of the right ankle, or if it feels better, you can stop the right ankle on top of the left. Just make sure both legs are over towards the right corner of the mat. From here, I'm gonna to start to arch my upper body over towards the right side as well, creating this sort of banana shape. Right hand will wrap around the left wrist, and I'm gonna make sure both hip points and shoulder points are glued into the mat. And feel free to take your last full breath in. Last full breath out as you release any binds you have coming back through center. We'll pause before going to the other side. So inhale, take a full body stretch. Exhale, let something go. Bringing the left heel to the left corner of the mat now. Right ankle can stack on top or underneath the left ankle. And then shifting my shoulders over to the left side of the mat, my left palm will wrap around my right wrist. I'll go ahead and find this crescent shape now in the left side of my body, lengthening through the right side of the body. Take a full breath in. On your full breath out, release the bind, coming back to center. All right, we've got one more stretch. So just bringing the feet up over the head, hips up over the heart to signal to our body that we're really winding down. Peace fingers can come around the big toes or you can grab the knife edges of the feet with your hands. And we're just gonna kick into those hands, keeping the tailbone on the mat, feeling the knees and the hips sort of wing out, finding our happy baby. You can rock side to side or rock in small circles, opening up through the hips and massaging the low back. If you're happy where you are, stay there. If you'd like to come all the way down into your quartz pose for Shavasana, you can. And feel free to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like. And when you're ready, we'll meet in a seat keeping the eyes closed to keep the peace of your Shavasana. Take a full breath into the nose. Exhale, roar it out. <sighs> Let the eyes open, see what you see. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me um, in this practice and for sharing your practices with me. Now that I have completed this practice with you, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this practice complete. This is one of my favorite FB Plus features. I love being able to complete a practice or a meditation and then having the option to check that little blue bubble off. It's not just a great feeling of accomplishment, but when I come back to uh, do another workout or take another meditation, I know which videos I have completed and then I know which I have left to explore. It also just feels really good to see over time how much I've um, how much I've accomplished. So, 
You can become an FB Plus member today by registering online, or you can purchase an FB Plus pass and um, experience all the amazing benefits of uh, an FB Plus member as well. So come check these, uh, check mark these, um, these videos off with me, these workouts and meditations off with me. And I hope to see you again on the mat soon. Workout complete.